What's up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is the auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself, and today is, I don't even know how to introduce this game, but this is a debut, Super Mario 64, we're going to be listening to two songs, Dire, Dire Docks, and the staff roll from the channels Yoshi Crazy Prime and Radiator Rampardos, requested by Matthew and Berserker88. I can't believe I'm like finally for the first time checking out Super Mario 64, a game that I'm very well aware of ex ex exists <laughs> and I've always heard about. I've seen this image probably a million times. And I think to be totally honest, I think this is my second time even experiencing, I could be wrong about this, the 64. I know I did Banjo-Kazooie, but I don't know anything beyond that. If I have, let me know, but I don't, I don't recall at this moment. Anyways, before I get started, this is a, there's a reason I'm doing this video. Um, basically, I'm about to do a um, uh, another episode of my new series called VGM Vibes, where I will be talking about like aquatic themes, like aquatic themed, aquatic themed themes. <laughs> and you know, I got a lot of suggestions from people, and overwhelmingly, I got two of them. One was aquatic ambiance from Donkey Kong, and uh, this one, Dire Dire Dogs, like a lot of people. Just to the point where like I skipped the vote and I just was like, okay, damn, these have to go in. So this will be in that episode as well, once I hear it a couple times, but this is going to be the first time I hear it. And then the staff roll, uh, it's, just, it's just paired up because it's, um, I do two songs per video. So that's going to be interesting hearing the credits, but this is uh, the one I'm focusing on, but then obviously I'm going to focus on the other one when it comes, but we're going to listen to Dire Dire Docs first and go from there. Kind of nervous about this one, I'm not gonna lie. Super Mario 64 I know is a huge deal. And I don't know, it's just something I've seen my entire life and I'm about to experience it. Crazy, crazy. 2024, Dire Dire Docks. Oh, uh, also, pretty sure I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Kochi Kondo, so. All right, let's go. Oh, I hear a synth coming in. Hmm. This is going to be an interesting reaction. I'll explain later. I'm expecting it to be so, like, chill and open. For some reason, when I heard Docs, I thought it was going to be more... Well, well like... Kind of like what we hear building up right now, actually. Maybe I spoke too soon. Hey. Okay. I, l I love, I love faded in percussion. It's so rare. Yeah, it definitely has that like floating kind of hold our breath type of sound. Koji Kondo. 
no idea Koji Kondo was like so involved in Nintendo. I thought it was mostly just like Zelda stuff. Okay. Damn. Yeah. I'm so, I'm so, <laughs> it's funny, you know, like. It's just funny when hundreds, if not thousands of people like say the same thing and then you, you finally experience it. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. In this case, overwhelmingly, like I said, uh, aquatic ambiance and dire dire docks were like. You need to feature these in your video, trust me. And I see why. But this video is interesting because um, the first like 10 seconds of that song, I've heard before. <laughs> and I was trying to think the whole time, like, where have I heard this? Like, maybe it's just so famous that I've heard it in passing, that kind of thing. I was like, no, nah. you know, I'm trying to like pinpoint, like I've heard that little do, 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 this thing here. If I can, I can tell you what I've heard. Yeah. I think pretty much just this whole intro. Well, I'll tell you when, but hold on. Okay. So like pretty much like anything beyond that. That was all new to me. Now you might be wondering, like, huh? Like, what do you mean you've heard this before? So, oh, this is so strange. But there's a um, there's a little app you might have heard of called TikTok. <laughs> and if you've never used it, it's basically like Vine. If you've never used Vine, it's just like, you know, short videos that people make, just whatever. Basically, yeah, whatever. Um, but there's also certain like categories and sometimes uh, some of my favorite videos are like nostalgic based ones. So it's like stuff from like the nineties. You'll see like it's, you'll literally just see like slideshows of like, uh, I don't know, RC cars and, uh, books from like, like, um, what was this called? Um, the scholastic book fairs, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Damn. That just brought me back stuff like that, you know, book orders and, and I'll always have this playing in the background. So technically, I've kind of heard it, but uh, but from what I said, just those, those was like first like 15, 20 seconds. <laughs> I never made the connection that it could be VGM. <laughs> so that's actually kind of bizarre because once I the song started going, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. This is actually like obviously more in depth. And I started hearing all these new things. So like 90% of that song I never experienced until just now. So the the synth chords coming in, that's new to me. That's really cool. Uh, like it, pretty much the whole song was new. And I was expecting going into this a couple of things. One, it's going to sound aquatic, right? It's the reason I'm hearing it. But also for some reason when I heard docs or saw t docs in the title, I wasn't expecting the kind of chill vibe at all. Normally... In my head, when I think aquatic, I think either underwater or in the background or just big emphasis on water. When I think docks, I think land, above water, boats, you know what I mean? So I was thinking more, maybe it would sound like a town theme or it sounds like it could be a town theme. I don't know. But to me, this sounded more like very aquatic, very, and is amphibian the right word? I don't know, but it sounded way more blue than I envisioned it. And then hearing, uh, you know, I was expecting percussion and some sort of like kind of little groove. And then the drums kicked in and it was starting to fulfill that sound, but also a mixture of, uh, I guess, your traditional aquatic sound. So it was a trip. You know, in the meantime, I'm thinking, I'm like, where have I heard this before? So it was like, there was a lot of brain activity going on. It was tripping me out. <laughs> uh, I don't know what dire, dire docks means. I know what dire means, but I don't know if that's... If that's just the name of this place. Also, mind you, I've never heard Super Mario 64. Wait. Yeah, Super Mario 64 before. So I had all these emotions. I'm like, damn, dude. This is like... This is going to get washed... This is going to get washed by a lot of people. So... You know, it's just... I'm trying to, like, get empathy here. But in reality, just... That was a lot to take in for three minutes. There was a lot of things firing off in my head. And also Koji Kondo was another thing I was thinking of too. 
Uh, that's a name I've I've known for a while. But I was unfamiliar. Well, let me rephrase that. I heard. I think it was Odyssey. Whatever Steam Gardens is from, that song. I've been hearing that song for a while now, for like two years. <laughs> Some people are probably like only two years, but I've been hearing that for a while. It's one of my favorite like songs I heard on the channel. I discovered it here, and I found out that was Koji Kondo. And at that point, I said the same thing. I'm like, I didn't even know he was that involved with Mario at all, or Nintendo. I just knew uh, Zelda. Like when I think Koji Kondo, I think of The Legend of Zelda. Which is also funny because my knowledge of Zelda is so limited. I know like four or five songs. But those songs I heard in passing, like just growing up, like they're so popular, like Song of Time, Cruda Valley, the main theme, you know, songs you just might hear in general. So there's, like I said, there's like a whole lot of stuff. I'm like, wait, so did Koji Kondo do the whole soundtrack? Because that's exciting, you know? Like, I, I love his sound. Um... There's just so much to take in, you know? Like, that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm overwhelmed. So It's not often I'm overwhelmed, but I'm overwhelmed. I've heard, I've somewhat heard it before. Uh, it sounded aquatic as hell. The, the synth pad was perfect. The drums fading in was amazing. I love that. Koji Kondo. Uh, kind of shattering my expectations with the whole dock sound. Super Mario 64. <laughs> one of the best, like, big, biggest games that I'm aware of of all time. 1996, damn. So yeah, uh, before I move on to the, the next song, there's still another song I have to hear. <laughs> and I don't know who composed that one. Uh, like I said, this is going to be featured in my BGM Vibes 3, which is coming soon after the video at some point. And at the, the whole thing of those videos is that I've heard the song before. I've, you know, engrossed myself in it and I'm familiar with it. So I have to listen to this particular song quite a few times before I talk about it more. So it'll be featured in there too. A lot of talking, but uh, this one and the song before it uh, from Donkey Kong Country will both be in that video based on your guys's yapping. <laughs> Anyways, we move on to the ending. <laughs> well, I'm assuming this is the end. It's called Staff Roll. Super Mario 64 Staff Roll, this is the name of it. Koji Kondo, yep, it says right here in the description. So I'm just going to take a guess that Koji Kondo composed the soundtrack, which I do not know until right now. That's pretty cool. So. Oh yeah, I remember that little peel, that little peel thing that says only for Nintendo 64, yeah. Man, I should... I wish I knew more about the Nintendo 64, because like I said, I, I grew up alongside with it. Meaning I always knew, because I, I was under the impression, I'm like, oh, I have the PlayStation, I have the superior thing, you know, it's CD, and obviously I was a kid, but it's just crazy that it's it survived in that, um, what's the word I'm looking for here, in that uh, era, Do you know, cartridges? I'm aware that the games are, like, historically... Incredible, but you know what I mean? You have to remember who you're watching here. I know like nothing about Nintendo. I just know of the word and growing up alongside with it. Anyways. Whew. Staff roll. From Super Mario 64. I'm trying to remember the last time I even heard Mario in general. Makes you wonder, or makes me wonder, if it, if the soundtracks were at all limited because of the cartridge, which might in fact give it that like charm. Is anyone's nostalgia going off right now? Talks on. 
I'm not really... I can only assume. It's just names of people going up. But let me know if there's like footage or something going on. I've always been a big fan of credits, so I don't know why. It's nice seeing who worked on it, but also just... It's like, you know, the, the, the ride is, is ending, you know? We have to send it off. It's bittersweet. I just remembered why the whole Koji kind of thing was confusing to me is because I know Yokushi Momura also has dabbled in Mario's love. So now I guess my question is, is there like a quintessential, hmm, how do I word this? Is there like a Mario composer that is more known than others? For example, Nobuo Matsu with Final Fantasy. There's obviously been more, but he's like the one people associate with. You know what I mean? Is there a Mario person? This is cool. <laughs> it's making me kind of sad for some reason. That's the thing about credits themes, like they're always like in a major key and like but they're tied to the end, you know? It's like messing with you kind of. I mean if anyone else feels that replaces me. It's like happy tier kind of music, like we did it. That keyboard sounds great. And both songs, it sounds great. Oh, it slows down. Ding! Yep. Thanks for playing. Special thanks to you. I actually kind of like that little drum uh, fill at the end. Though. It actually kind of sounds... <laughs> now that I think about it, that is, that is kind of... Um, I don't know if it's a cliche, but it's uh I feel like a lot of credits teams have that. <laughs> it's like the ending drum beat. Anyways, man, this video is so bizarre. I feel like such a outsider, such a noob talking about any of this stuff. Now don't get me wrong, I've heard some Nintendo songs throughout the auditorium. But it's still like nothing compared to what you guys have listened to, grew up with. And all the other stuff I've heard too. Like Nintendo is, it's still not that common on the channel. There's a lot of requests for it. I have a lot of requests, don't get me wrong. But there's still not a whole lot of Nintendo here. It's it's kind of like followed me my whole life, right? Like I didn't play it, I did all this stuff. And now even with a focus on video game music, it still doesn't show up all that often. It's like this thing that eludes me. I don't know, I, I don't know how to explain it. And I kind of get like this sense of nervousness every time it comes on because I know people are attached to this stuff and are now my age or older. And there's people that are like, well, you know, I don't even care about the new stuff. I only play about the old stuff. I get it. I get it. So it's always a, it's always a mixture of like, you know, am I going to am I going to want to guess what's happening? Do I want to just enjoy the song for what it is at the time, you know? It, it, every video is different. I react different each time. And for this one, the overwhelming response was just like, damn, you know, like, what do I say? You know, is it is it going to be, is it, I don't know, is it going to be entertaining? Is it, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot, there's a lot. It's only one time I can do this, right? Only one time I can do it. Now, mind you, I'm not going to talk about the staff role in that other video. That's just for aquatic themes. But this one, you know, I've said before, I really enjoy, like, credits themes. I've been a part of some credits, so I'm kind of biased there. And I don't know, you know. I The reason I say that is because I've, I've seen some streamers and other people I have talks with in my Discord. And some people just don't even bother with the credits. They skip it or anything. It doesn't even, They don't care. And honestly, I find that actually pretty strange. You know, you guys do you, but I don't know. I feel like if I spent all this time 
and listening to these characters and the story and all that and I feel like I have to like like pay respects and, and check out who I mean I'm not gonna read every single name that scrolls up you know what I mean but you know like it seems weird to me to not be there for the credits or to not care and to not let them play in full and and it's become its own little subculture right like in movies now it's almost it's almost expected nowadays to like wait until the credits are over and maybe you'll see some bonus but i've always liked the idea of just kind of like hanging out at the end do you guys remember back in the i don't know if it still happens but like at least on like cd albums or even cassette albums there'd be like a hidden track at the end of the album you hear a song and there's just nothing and then a random hidden song plays like that's really cool this this reminds me of that but even then just you know the amount of work that goes into these games or movies or whatever the song it has to really reflect what's going on there and it always has typically its own song sometimes you'll see like a song get reused from the game and then put it there but like it's it typically has its own moment to shine and they're pretty they can get kind of emotional right even though it's happy music or whatever it's uh it's a little weird you know speaking of which it's probably the only time i can be able to bring this up but i haven't told anyone this but uh i feel very strongly about this because it's kind of relevant i recently played castlevania symphony of the night which has nothing to do with this video and i remember like loving that soundtrack so much but when i heard the credits i was like what the hell is going on i just had to get that off my chest i felt like that was so random and didn't belong i don't know i don't know it's just <laughs> totally relevant but it reminded me of that you know like of, of just this whole credits vibe and there's another vibe for you and yeah it's fascinating i don't know credits themes are cool they're all cool right like intro themes are cool fmv's cool main menus are cool this is why i like video game or was why i love video game music so much it's because it's not just one dimensional there's so many pieces that go into like firing this machine off that make the whole thing good and that includes credits themes for me so i don't know maybe it's just me but i've always i've always had like a soft spot for them and this was sounded really cool i can't tell you if there was any light motifs used from the entire game on there but it sounded like a journey was had and it's the end of it and now we can unfortunately resume our lives you know that's the that's the downside is we have to go back to regular day life but um yeah dude hearing super mario 64 for the first time is is really weird and bizarre and it took me this long to get to it <laughs> a lot of overwhelming emotions here but let me know if anything i said koji kondo credits whatever dire dire dogs Whatever you want to tell me, I'm sure you will tell me. Nintendo videos are always extremely filled with nostalgia and uh, opinions. <laughs> Speaking of which, by the way, totally unrelated also, I just bought a Nintendo Switch. Oh, I didn't buy a Nintendo Switch. A fan, a viewer, bought a Nintendo Switch for me so I can play Xenoblade Chronicles. So after almost two and a half, three decades, I will... I am going to be playing a nintendo system again which is so crazy to me okay i'm done talking now Whew. <laughs> dire dire docs and the staff role thank you matthew and berserker 88 thanks for listening to me babble about something i did not grow up with but i'm still impressed by Whew. okay thank you to my patrons here keeping the dream alive and showing me all these songs that i'm on this journey on that uh, I cherish so deeply. Thank you to my Platinum members. I couldn't be here without them either. Thank you for watching. My name is Jesse in the Auditorium. I will see you in that VGM Vibes 3 episode. And in the other episodes that I do here. So take it easy, everyone. Peace.